Recently, we explored how to find profitable student keywords in your niche using the keyword analysis process. But now, how do you use these keywords in your blogs and websites so that you can get that free traffic from Google? Hi, I'm Vaishak from Learners, and in this video, I will show you how to use the student keywords in your websites and blogs to get that free traffic from Google. Let's start with how to optimize your website with student keywords. Here is tip number one. Add keywords to your website title and body. From your keyword list, pick a broad keyword that represents what you teach. The first place you want to add this keyword is in your page title and description. Let's do that. Go to your admin dashboard settings, click on branding and enter the keywords within the page title. Next, go to your Learners website builder and click on the website H1 title. Click edit. Here, convey the clear student benefit using the keywords within 10 words or 60 characters. So if your keyword is stock market courses, your title should look something like this. Same way, convey a meaningful subheadline within 120 characters like this, including the keywords. Just like your H1 title, add short related keywords in the website's H2 and H3 title tags. So if the main keyword in your H1 title is stock market courses, use other related words like stock market tips, earn with stock markets in the H2 and H3 tags to communicate your story very clearly. Next, use keywords in your website body text as well. Lastly, you can add location specific keywords like stock market courses in Delhi if you want to target students from that location. Tip number two, write attractive website titles using keywords. Other than keyword presence, Google ranks your website based on clicks and audience interaction. Here is a free tip to create a catchy title. Go to the website thehoth.com and here enter the details like keyword, decide outcomes and click generate headline ideas. This website will return you a lot of catchy clickable titles. Use these titles as an example to create your own catchy website title. To get more power words, use the power words guide in the description box below. Next, let's see how to optimize your blog and video content using student keywords. From your keyword list, pick specific keywords above four words in length and that has more than 100 search volumes. As a pro tip, to rank your websites faster, use broad keywords for your website pages and specific keywords for your blogs. To get started with blogs, I suggest you use WordPress as it has a lot of plugin support. Install the Yoast plugin to help you rank for keywords. Now enter the keyword within the focus key phrase of Yoast. Now, Write a 120 character article summary by including the keywords within the meta description of Yoast. Next, come up with a good blog title. Use the hoth.com website to make a catchy blog title within 60 characters. Next, start writing your blog posts with at least 800 words. Here is how. Include your keyword at least once within the first paragraph of your blog post. Likewise, include the keyword once in the summary of the blog post. For a thousand word blog article, your keyword should appear a total of four times, including the ones in the intro and the summary. Use at least two to three subheadings in your blogs to make them more readable. To give more depth to your article, try to include related keywords in your subheadings. Watch the video on keyword analysis to know which keywords you need to be targeting. After completing the write-up, scroll down to the Yoast SEO section. Here, you need to ensure that both your SEO and readability tab should be in green color. If not, just follow the instructions within the SEO analysis and readability to make it green. 
This will ensure that your blog posts rank fast in Google for this specific keyword. Apart from blogs, you can also publish news feeds using Learnist. To create news feeds, go to the news feeds and click create. Enter the keywords within the title, SEO title and description. Once you have given the proper tags and author info, click on save. Note that published news feeds can be accessed by anyone visiting your website and hence can bring a lot of good traffic if done correctly. So with this, you have learned how to add keywords in your websites, blogs and news feeds and to rank faster on Google. If you found this video useful, do give it a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get more such video notifications. So until next time, see you, take care and bye bye.